want you to torment Pastor John. His master surrounded him with so much power. I have gotten the right to test his fate. And I want you to bring him down the way you brought down all the generals. Lazarus! 
come forth. <laughs> and the dead rose. I come out. You, Simon, come forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command with the authority of heaven. I command you, Simon, to come forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will not die, believe it. Amen. Go Amen. The land of the living. Thank you. I must go. Pastor, he's alive. Glory. Thank God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, oh, I thank you. Bless you. My brother is alive. Oh, Father. No. Hope you remember to pray when you wake up. So, let me hear it. In my dream, we were all walking on the road. All of a sudden, there was an heavy wind as they got there to me. We were running, we scattered towards different directions. Anyway, the most important thing is you, you prayed, right? Yes, I did. So whenever you have such a dream, the moment you wake up, first thing for you to do is to pray. Yes, God. It is well with you. Yes. Glory.
tell the town crier to inform the people about the general work. I think that will be um, next to Kwade. As you know, the commissioner will be coming to inspect the school uh, in six days' time. Okay, Your Highness. I will do just that immediately. M most importantly, I want the cabinet members to meet um, the day after tomorrow. No, but Your Highness, our meeting is uh, next to uh, for market days. You are correct, mm -hmm. but this is an emergency. Our people say that the toad does not run in the daylight for nothing. I intend to award more scholarships, but I want us to discuss this in the cabinet first. Yes, sir. Okay, Your Highness, well, that's a good idea. Sure. Uh, let me go without delay. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, Yes. What we'll be discussing this morning we shall be talking something that is not very palatable. Death. Death. It's not an interesting topic, but it's something that we see coming to meet. Um, I know some of us might be wondering why we don't have some of the elders around. Pastor Mike, Pastor uh, Timothy, they went on a special assignment. So, even if it is Paulina, we are having a program somewhere, so they are there. Yes. So that is why they are not here today. Now, thanks. He said, he has given unto us the way of life and of death. The choice is yours to pick which one you want to have. It may not be quite interesting, but it is something we have to think about every day. The Bible may declare that it is appointed unto man to die once and after that judgment what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul or what shall a man give in exchange of his soul what? Some of us here have not gained our soul because of earthly things that will not last. But come to think of it, which would you choose? We have, some of us are here crying over the death of the divine and death. Mode. But do you know? that those two kids have brought eight members to the church. Have you been able to access yourself? Check out yourself. What have you done for the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Instead of crying and weeping over this why not weep for your soul? Every day we go out. Think about it. If I die today, where will I be? No, let me bring your food. Imagine it. Leave that food for now. No, why? I am worried. What is it? Ebuka, if Ebuka gets that scholarship, then I am finished. How does that finish you? I am having the feeling that somebody must have told him about that land. So if he studies law and becomes a lawyer, then he will fight for his rights. I know lawyers. 
They know how to fight for all their rights, for what belongs to them and what doesn't belong to them. So if he, if he graduates as a lawyer, there will be a problem. Then you will not fold your hands and watch him. I think I know what to do. I know what to do. So, Nai, let me bring your food now. Oh, fully keka ba. Oh, fully keka ba. Oh, fully keka ba. Pastor John, Eda Timothy, there is a bad news. Bad a news. friend of mine who is a police officer just called me now that our evangelical team we sent out on evangelism, they had a serious accident. Accident? Accident. But hope my life was lost. I'm afraid they all died. Including my son. Ah. No, this cannot be true. Ah. Hey. Jesus. No, no. It can't be true. Say, why say that an elder does not sit at home and watch the goat labor with it? We are gathered here today to find out what should be done to salvage the present situation, Pastor John. It is too obvious that losing eight souls in less than two weeks is too much for a church to bear. It is too much. Pastor, as the shepherd of this congregation, have you heard anything from the Lord at all? Elders, I appreciate your consent, but the truth of the matter is, I have prayed, I have fasted, I have a word of the Lord. But all I kept hearing is, it is well. It is well. With all due respect, Pastor, all is not well, oh. No 
clothed with the body of my soul. And other able new men lying lifeless in the mortuary. All is not well. All is not well. Um, what, what I suggest is I suggest we should go into prayer and fasting. I mean, uh, let's go into prayer and fasting so that we can come against the spirit of untimely death. Then what are we waiting for? We don't have to waste time over this issue. Let us commence it immediately. I quite agree with you. That Timothy, I sympathize with you over the death of your son. So unfortunate that it has to be someone like you. Kindly accept my sympathy. Thank you. Thank you very much. One more thing. You are on your way to the church for the usual prayer meetings. I see enemies all around you, enemies. Watch while praying for the enemy is not far from you. know you and I can't remember seeing anyone like you before now. Oh. Are you a prophet? <laughs> Don't you know a messenger from God if you see one? Now, have you taken time to ask yourself what means Pastor John uses? in rotten miracles. And why is this calamity befalling the church? If of a truth is a genuine man of God. Do you mean Pastor Joe is a member of a secret cult? Elder Timothy, see beyond your nose and for you to know how he can is. How inhuman Pastor John is. He donated two of his sons, two of his blood, his flesh and blood at a stretch, before giving out members of the church. And after he must have given out the requested number of souls, you will then see the level he will start operating on. Do you mean we are going to lose another soul in the church again? Exactly. In fact, what you have seen so far is just a tip of an iceberg. Compared to what's on the way. So, I was sent to come and warn you. You must act fast, Elder Timothy. Because no one knows who the next victim is. You must act fast. S Sorry. Pro Prophet, what is your name? And how can I see you again? Timothy, never mind. I am only a messenger and have done the job of he that sent me. Act fast.
Ah, hey, the whole church must hear this. In fact, the whole church must hear about this. Ah. Where the broken hearts go, where they don't have where to go. You beat me from the gutter and rearranged me. You're the only one that is taking care of me. In my imperfection, you still love me. It's burning in my heart. It's burning in my soul. As I lift my hands to. <laughs> my son, just like you said, I don't understand what happened. I don't know. I went to the chief, chief examiner and asked. He said, You did not ask. Hey. Yes. Chimo. Hi. Uncle, please. Help me. Help me how? I don't have another person to run to. Help you? Uh, how? Uh, Uncle, could you please go to the examiner and find out what actually happened? I'm sure what I answered in the question papers. <laughs> Please. Ibuka. Ibuka, are you sure you concentrated in that examination hall? Yeah. Yes. Hmm? Are you sure you didn't go thinking about girlfriends and uh, going for parties? I, uh -huh. am, I am very sure, sir. Mm -hmm. Please, help me. Okay. Hmm? Okay, I'll go back to the examiner. <laughs> Find out what actually happened. If I see cause to fight on your behalf, I'll do so. Hi. Hmm? Uncle, thank you. I promise that. Thank you. Uh, you may go. Thank you. You may go. Hey. You may go. Hmm. I still don't believe it. That Pastor John is not a true servant of God. Are you doubting the word of a prophet? It is not a matter of doubting. But, but what? What do you want to see or hear before you believe the word of a prophet? As for me, me, as for me, I will sit here and watch who serve a clay pastor. Use me, a member of my family. In this case for his power. No, I will not. Ah, and that you want to you're here. And I you are welcome. Thank you very much, Deaconess Pauline. Please see. Thank you. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, I mean, I'm a very I'm very, very much in a hurry. Please. I just come to pick you up for the summary of the fasting and prayer. And I G. And I G. Yes, please. There is problem. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it again? In fact, yes. I don't know how to say it. Pastor John is an occultist. God forbid. That is a lie from the pit of hell. This is no lie. I was reliably informed by a prophet on my way to the church. Ah, ah. Elder Timothy. Elder Timothy, please, please, why don't you say that first? Sit down, calm down, let us see. Elder Timothy, Elder Timothy, how could you believe? How could you believe a prophet of doom? Have you have you forgotten suddenly what the scripture said? What did the scripture say, Mister Scripture? Well, I won't blame you. It's because you don't have any member of your family lying lifeless in the mortuary. If you do, you won't remember what the scripture said. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, Ada. Ada Timothy, calm down. I don't mean to provoke you, but I want you to understand that this same Pastor John we are talking about has affected our life in one way or the other in the past. So what? 
And so what? Yes? He hit my wife? Have I blessed him? What does that mean that he should take the life of my innocent son? May God have mercy on me. Mercy. show him my true color. Yes, I'm going to show him my true color. Please, let's, let's hurry up. We are late. I told you, unless I'm no longer living. But as long as I breathe, every cow will never smell that scholarship. Never. Let him pay for his father's foolishness. Chiona, you are a lion. You never miss your target. Hey, for a long time, I begged him to sell that piece of land to me. But he refused. Even when I had enough money to pay off his poverty, this man refused. Chiona, what if he comes to ask you to take the land? Oh, fully, Kekaba. Oh, fully, Kekaba. I will not touch that land again. Let him keep it. Mm -hmm. Oh, fully, Kekaba. I'll not. So, thank you very much, eh? Okay. Thank you. Father, we thank you. We salt you. Father, we glorify your name. Because there is no like We magnify you, Lord. Jesus of Nazareth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ella Ignatius. The word of God made us to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, wickedness and high places. Right now we are going to pray against every satanic manipulation against this church. That today, that heaven should rise up against them. Amen. Open your mouth and pray Father, in the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Father, in the Christ. name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I decree and declare. My master! What is it again? What is the problem? Dickness, what is it? What is it? What is it? Help me, my son is dying. My son is dying, please. No, 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 no. It can't be, no. No. My son is dying. He's careful, he's dying. Affliction shall never rise from the second place. <laughs> calm down, calm down, please. Okay, let's go to your room. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Let's go. Like let's this. go. Ah. The devil is a liar. Just let's go. Let's go. Don't worry. Oh, 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 oh,
blood sucker. I was warned. And that Timothy warned me. But I stupidly. Ah! Don't believe him. Ah! Polina. You, you have mean, been. You mean and that Timothy warned you? Yes, he warned me. He warned me on this blood sucker. To stay away with from this blood sucker. But I did not listen to him. God. <laughs> Just walk out. I don't want to see. Go out of my house. I said, get out. Get out. You have achieved your aim. Hey, look at my son. Get out. Get out. Get out. I don't want to see you. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Finally, brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brother Mike. I just want to encourage us. Don't be discouraged. I use this opportunity to tell you that you should not be moved by what you are seeing. The Bible talks about the tricks of the devil. That was why it says we should put on the whole armor. Of God. This may be some of the mysteries. I want to tell you, he may be out for somebody. The devil is out to get someone. For a very long time, what is our service ought to be? I say for a very long time, I have not really enjoyed myself the way I enjoyed myself today. That man of God is really loaded. The message was wow. Pastor I.G. Pastor Timothy. Elders, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you calling me Pastor Timothy or Eda Ignatius? You don't even know my name again. Elder I.G. Welcome, welcome. So, so what happened? Yes, elders, we felt your absence in the church, yeah. so we decided to come and find out the reason why you were absent. Uh -huh. I hope all is well. Hmm? well. We didn't see you in the church service. Mm -hmm. Have you no, forgotten today that uh, today is uh, Sunday. Sunday service? <laughs> church service. <laughs> hmm? There I is said... nothing like um. As you can see, we are coming from the church. A living church for that matter. Yes, a living church. <laughs> with a genuine man of God. <laughs> Anointed. Oh my God. Elder with a message. Are you saying that my husband here is not a true man of God? No. Are you asking us or you are telling us? But how could such come out from Elder's mouth? No, let me know if that is a question or you are telling us that your husband is not anointed. Let us know. Oh, please, uh, I will see you at the fellowship tomorrow. I will be there. Please. As a matter of fact, I'm coming with my friends tomorrow. Please. Oh, that is that is wonderful. That is fellowship. <laughs> I will be there. Bye-bye. <laughs> elders. Elders. This is unbelievable. Can you imagine? As I told you, the amount is 500 men. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, ah, Pastor. 
Good How afternoon, are you? sir. How is business? Come inside. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I have noticed something. You have not been coming to service as before. And it's unlike you. Pastor, thank you very much for your concern. But I've made up my mind I'm not coming to that church again. What? Why? I don't want to be used for sacrifice. God have mercy on this one. Is this not that same Pastor John that brought your husband back to life? Pastor, that was the new one. That was then. You talk as if you don't know who Pastor John really is now. Pastor John is a blood sucker. What? God have mercy on your soul. Amen. Thank you. But I'm not coming. Sister Ochu. Hello? Sister Joy? How are you? Did you did you check out that church again? Eh. Okay, okay. You like it? Their service is okay. So do you advise that we should start attending that church? Okay, 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 okay. 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 How is your family? How is everybody? Okay, my dear. Bye bye. To be honest with you, Bishop, I am I am tired of pretending that all is well. I have prayed. I have fasted. In fact, I have done everything I could, all to no avail. It's as if I am shut out in the dark, all alone. To John, stop talking like that. In all of these things, God is still faithful. And, the, and the, the, the worst aspect of it all is, I have lost virtually every member of the church. Could you believe it if I tell you that last Sunday it was my wife, Pastor Mike, and myself that was at the church service? This is serious. You, your wife, and Pastor Mike go the service of a whole church. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it. But not to worry. As far as I serve the living God, I will always sit for you and your ministry. Please. Bishop, I really do need your prayers. Eh? This burden is too much for me to bear. <laughs> Pastor John, I want you to understand one thing. There is no dictation that comes to a man that is greater than a man. The Lord will always show you a way of escape. There's the mere trials of the devil. Have you forgotten what the Bible says? That we should put on the whole armor of God so that we can be able to overcome the trials or the devices of the enemy. We need to be strong, son, and believe in the Lord Almighty. And God will see you through. Long time no see. Praise God. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just coming to your house. Ah, well, I, I'm actually going to the church. Uh, do you want us to go inside this course or do you want us to sort out this issue here? There's no day going to the house. Can we sit here? All right. Um, Elder Timothy, the way you people are handling this issue. It's unfair. It is very, very unfair. This is nothing but the handwork of the devil. Do you remember Job? You see, all that Pastor John needs right now is encouragement. 
instead of that, the whole members of the church are making life miserable for him. Elder Timothy, why? In fact, that is the reason why I have come to see you. The problem you are having is not the devil. For lack of an advisor. Or because your parents are late. And that is why I'm concerned about you. The story of Pastor Joe was not told me. I saw the prophet said by God with my two naked eyes. Who told me everything about that evil man? That man is evil. And the earlier you detach yourself from him, the better for you. This was how I won Edda IG. And Paulina, but they turned deaf ears. But now they have realized what I was telling them. Pastor Mike, why don't you start your own church? We are solidly behind you. Timothy, are you telling me to betray my master? No. No one is asking you to betray anyone. All we are encouraging you to do is to keep on the propagation of the gospel. Do you know how many souls have left the church? Or do you want them to perish? Why don't you do something to help them retain their faith? Knowing fully well that they love you. They trust you. They believe you are the only genuine servant of God. Think about it. That is what I've come to say. Yes, uh, Pastor Mike. Who would have come to your place? But I don't want to set my eyes on that demon who calls himself a pastor. He might decide to visit you while we are there. Pastor Mike, we have come this meeting in respect of the last discussion I had with you. Hmm. Pastor, we are so really behind you. I assure you. That I will bring back all those women that have left this church. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Oh, in fact, Pastor Mike, you have the calling. The anointing is there. This grace, the grace is there. In fact, you have what it takes. You have all it takes to pastor a church like this one. I just don't know what you are still waiting for. Okay, okay. I've, I've heard you all. I'm going to think about it. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Mike. Ah, ah. <laughs> Nine, good evening. Uh, how are you? Nine. How are you? Ah. Let me go through and confess that I like the tunes that come up from, from your flute. Hmm? Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you very I, much. I fell in love with them. Uh, eh? Thank you, sir. Yes, and I want to advise that you achieve the highest concentration in playing this your fleet. Hmm? I want you to avoid things like girls, idleness, and even going to school. If you stop going to school, you concentrate fully. And if you continue to advance, I'll make sure it's you I'll pick the day Adesa gets married. Really? Yes. Hi. No, thank you very yeah, much. Yes, yeah, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> so keep it up, eh? I'm happy. Keep it up. Yeah, who's it? Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Oh, now the Timothy. Praise God. Please come in, please come in. Thank you very much. Sit down. Has it been? We bless God. This is the prophet I told you about. Who told me all about that evil man? 
Luckily, I came across him on my way again today. I told him all about our new arrangement. And he requested to see you. That is why I brought him. Prophet, this is the man in question. Young man, you are blessed. You have been found favorable among your equal. And God, God has chosen and anointed you to lead his flock. He will fill you with his powers. Confirm the words of your mouth with signs and wonders. Oh, there is nothing to be scared of. Absolutely nothing to be scared of. Just grab the bull by the horn, and he will surely see you through. Observe a three-day fasting, and on the third day, the anointing of God will come upon you like a mighty ocean, and you will see the power of God transforming your life. Ah, um, thank you very much, so People give them little coin That cannot even buy the food But you're the only one That has taken care of us In our desperation
I'm all ears. Is there anything you're hiding from me? How do you mean? Joy? Joy? Um, how did it go? They weren't able to diagnose anything. Nothing. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Still been faithful to God, but yet He allowed our sons to die. We've been praying and still been faithful to Him, but yet He allowed the church members to die. We're still praying. And still being faithful to him. Take a good look at the church. It's scattered. Now I'm about losing my only surviving daughter. And you're still talking of his? Oh, come on. Don't you think? There's something that should work. I mean, there must be something out there that will work. 
can solve this problem. Not the prayers, no. No. Not prayers. There is nothing that works better than being faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ. These are mere temptations from the devil. Hmm? Have you forgotten what Apostle Paul said when he asked, What can separate us from the love? of Christ. Is it persecution? Is it trials? Is it tribulations? What? Don't spare me that. I mean, this is something I've heard ever since I was a child. Maybe, maybe this is, this is just a way of telling God that we don't just love Him because of all that he gave to us. But that he, he, he laid, he first laid his life for us on the cross of Calvary. Cross of Calvary, dude. I can't watch my only daughter die in my arms. No. She's not gonna die. I can't it's watch okay. her die. It's okay. I don't want my daughter to die. It's okay. She's not gonna die, don't worry. Please do something. God is in charge. Chandra Boss, the Conde Honda, the Conde Honda, the Conde Crisanto, the Santa Car, the Conde Santa Kama, the Tanda Likamanta, the Tanda Rika Likamanta, the Ronda Santa. Today you have journeyed into this kingdom. The kingdom where everything is in abundance. Here I will make you rich and famous. I will give you power to work signs and wonders. But under one condition, you must obey me. You must Serve me and bring men into my kingdom. It is a spiritual symbol. I cannot be seen with the physical eyes. Now, you are mine forever. <laughs> Change comes. 
If you die as a result of you thinking that this problem is weightier than God, if you die as a result of, if, if you allow yourself to fall into temptation because of impatience, because of disbelief, will you live again if you die in the process? No. We are expected to wait. We are expected as Christians to rely on God. We are expected to, to lean on Him. We are expected to look up to the cross of Calvary and see the man who passed through more than what we think you are passing through today and still survived it and today is at the right hand of the Father. Praise the Lord. For a Christian to be faced with trials and temptations, I think it is part of the Christian race. A Christian without temptation, without being faced by trials of life, that Christian is not yet a Christian. Persecution, hard times, difficult times, they are bound to come. And we are expected to stand on the truth. We are expected to speak the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is the word of God. The truth is the voice of God. The truth is what is God saying in this my situation. The truth that we are to speak is what is the mind of God over this thing that I'm passing through. If you're able to know what the mind of God is, then you'll be able to stand on nothing but the truth. But failure to make inquiry to know the mind of God over the situation that you are being surrendered with, you are bound to lie. You are bound to step out of the truth. You are bound to, to speak in favor of the devil. Sometimes you have to believe it. believe it Sometimes you have to pursue it pursue I have gotten the right to test his fate and I want you to bring him down the way you brought down all the generals.
Where the broken hearts go Where they don't have where to go You beat me from the gutter And rearranged me You're the only one That is taking care of me In my imperfection You still love me It's burning in my heart It's burning in my soul As I lift my hands to you I sacrifice a praise Sing it holy You are holy And I lift I bought it when I traveled to Canada.
Do I owe this visit? Nothing much. My son. Today is the day of atonement. I, I don't understand, Lord. I, I don't understand. Today we expect you to give little out of the much abundance we have given to you. Ask whatever thing you want. That's my son. Look into the water. To the water? Yes. No, no, it's my wife. Stop her! You just got married three days ago. It's my wife, please. All this I know. Go ahead and stop her. Please, please, you can ask me beyond that thing. Please, don't, don't keep her with my wife, please. You don't choose for me. I have whatsoever. I please do it now. I take your life in place of hers.
Lord, bow, both in heaven, both on earth, both under the earth. I command you to move every power from the kingdom of darkness that is waging war against my ministry, against the ministry that God has given to me. I command, let them begin to fall flat. Let them begin to fall flat. I ask God, reveal secret things unto me. Those things that I ought to know concerning this present predicament, these present circumstances surrounding the church. Father Lord, because your words say that the secret things belong unto the Lord, but those that were revealed are for his servants, so that they will know what to do. Father Lord, reveal to me the mystery surrounding all this. I have been here, oh Lord. I want you to help me. I want you to help me. Father, Father, I have been crying for the past seven days, seven whole days, just for the secret, just for you to reveal to me the reason for all this. Is it my sin? Is it the sin of any member of the church? Or oh, my wife, please tell me. I am tired. I have been praying seven days now for seven whole days. Nothing. I can find anything. No answer. I am tired. I am tired. This was it what we discussed when I was picking up this mantle. This wasn't what you told me that I was going to pass through. Please, why not claim my life instead of making me go through all this shame and degradation? why that was why you gave me this you said i should propagate the gospel of your dear son and that is what i'm doing now lord if in this condition after seven whole days i can't hear anything from you <laughs> lord i have no choice i have no choice I have no choice than to give away this you have given to me. I have no choice. I have no choice than to discontinue with this work. I'm tired. I am fed up. I am frustrated. I give up. This cross is too heavy for me. Help me, O Lord. I can't bear it alone. I can't believe it. I'm just leaving the 
this house. I can't continue to stay in this house. I can't continue to stay in this house. Running away from the house will solve any problem. <laughs> Leaving the house is good for me. Because you know what? I'm childless. There's no child in the house. And you want me to keep staying in this house? No, John. No. <laughs> but, but, sweetheart, I, oh, don't call me sweetheart again. Hey, hey, <laughs> we, are, we are in this together. This <laughs> together? Did I just hear you say this together? No. You are in this together. For me? And me? No, not overreacting. I'm begging you, please. I, I can't stay in this house. I can't stay in this house. Look at the whole house. My children, my children are gone. My sweetheart, we are in this together. And you call yourself a pastor. <laughs> I'm leaving your house. I'm leaving for good. But you get it. Your family, go and check your family. Because in my family, we don't have such a problem. Sweetheart, please. John! I'm leaving, John. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. I have a listen. Uh, um, is the chief still in the village? Or has he gone to the city? Yes, sir. What is yes, sir? I asked whether the chief is still in the village or has he gone to the city. You're saying yes, sir. Which one is the answer? I don't know. You don't know? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Eh? Anyway, when you go back, Tell Chief I have a piece of land for sale. And I'm sure he will like it. It's a very good portion of land. Eh? I hope it's not the Bukas Father's land again. Pearson. Yes. Ubu. Oh. Ubu. Look at, look at you. Just because you went to the city, and you came back and told us you are now Helsen. What do you mean Helsen? Ubu. Look at you. You see the small money the chief gives you for opening and closing the gate that is entering your head? Eh? Hugo? Well, oh, Hugo, can I really? Go, Hugo, can I be my camera for? Look at them, look, look at them. What's your business? Go for it, Kagaba. Eh? Be very careful. Oh, Hugo, can I be my camera for? Go for it, Oh, fully, Kekaba. Look at small boys, so ordinary get man coming to challenge me. Oh, fully, Kekaba. Oh, fully, Kekaba. Where the broken hearts go, where they don't have where to go. You beat me from the gutter and rearranged. You're the only one that is taking care of me In my imperfection, you still love me It's burning in my heart, it's burning in my soul As I lift my head them begging on the road. <laughs> People give them. So this man don't. Ah, Peter said the man load the house. Ah, today now me and him. They don't lock the door. Go and he tell me say today man can't collect my money. Ah, I go show this man where today I no go even grill. Lie 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 lie. Ah ah. 
Which can you get in be this? Every day they owe me, they owe me. I know we agree on. If you don't pay me, I know we'll enter this house today. What thing happen? Now this house that they take my children. Every time the man they owe me. They beg you, beg you for what? Pay me my money, no go stay here. They no go sleep here today. If you don't pay me my money. Baba landlord, what happened? Me, I don't love my door, no call me Jared, pay me my money. You can't Baba landlord be that. No, they say I tell my three money. Now me and you build them. I'll be something they worry ahead. I don't love my door, they go. You no know, pay me now. Oh, Baba landlord, you are overreacting. We overreacting. They they give you that and offer you no one pay me my house rent. See your belly don't they big. Pay me my money, Jared. If you don't pay me, I mean I don't go. Ah, uh, okay, we can you, you, you don't buy blog before, you don't buy cement. You don't have to build up. Pay me my money. I don't agree. Pay me my money. Oh, give me few more. No, pay me my money. I don't agree. If you don't agree, and they go. If you don't pay me, and they go. If you don't where to find me. You know, not pay for this house, oh, me, and they go. I they go. No, I they go, I they go, I they go. Where the homeless ones go, I see them begging. On the road, <laughs> people give them little coin that cannot even buy the food. But you're the only one that is taking care of us in our desperation. You're still love. I want the landlord came to book your house. Because you didn't have enough money to pay him. Look at the way you allow this man to embarrass you. Because you refuse to train the path of wisdom. It's a shame. Bishop Dixon, let me tell you. The Bible made us to understand that there is a way that seems right in the eye of a man. But the end thereof is destruction. I know you are a very good Bible student. But don't forget that money answers all things. And God cannot allow his children to suffer in this manner. Don't even talk about God. Because you don't know him. What you are practicing is not godly. Bishop? You've not even yet tried it. And you stand here to condemn me. Pastor John. God forbid. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? What? You have forgotten that God is merciful. And the same Bible say that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If we get the convenience we need, we can always run to God. And God, by his infinite mercy, will not cast us out, Pastor John. And that is where you are wrong. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. That is what the word of God says. Pastor John, all that pastors do it. Yours will not be an exception. There's an idea that says that all dogs eat esprit, but the one it found in his mouth eat most. Well, Bishop, if you must know, I am not other pastors. Get behind me, Satan. I, Bishop, this sin. Satan? Let me see how far you can go. Nonsense. You think it's easy to acquire power? Fame, riches, miracle signs, and wonders. Nonsense. Just 
is because I'm unable to pay him three months rent. You see, in that house, I have some valuables that I can sell to offset these bills, but you know, since they are locked up in the apartment, there's no way I can lay hands on them. So, where do I come in? Uh, um, I will appreciate it if you can lend me 60,000 men to offset the bills. As soon as I'm able to lay hands on these things, you sell them off and I'll pay you. Pastor John. Pastor Mike. I have the money. I would not give you. But why? Because I don't want to get involved with a cause that's been following you. Curse? Yes. The cause that killed two of your children. That cause that killed six members of the church. Pastor Mike. The curse that scattered the church. Pastor Mike. And also that cause that Enough, please, enough, please. I've had enough. Thank you so much. Pastor John, have you forgotten years back? You said the way I am treading would lead me to destruction. Now look at me today. Look at where I am. Let me ask you something. Between me and you, who is going for destruction? I think I've heard enough. I think I better take my leave. That's a good idea. Pastor Mike. Homeless ones go. I see them begging on the road. <laughs> People give them little coin that cannot even buy the food. But you're the only one that is taking care of us in our desperation. Serious problem. Can we go inside and talk? Oh, no. it's, it's better we stay here. Okay. Can I hear what is the problem? It's my it's my twin brother. And I think I really need to meet your pastor. My pastor? What's the problem? My brother has been seeking for scholarship for a good five years in the university to study law. But he has tried and tried so hard. But all to no avail. Is that why you want to see my pastor? You should tell your brother to go and study. I don't know why children of this day they don't want to study, but they want to pass. They want to make it. You should go and study hard. Madam Mutu, you won't understand. Make me understand. My brother is a very intelligent boy. He's so intelligent academically, and we are so proud of him. But the most beautiful aspect is that. Those who are nowhere close to him academically are getting the scholarship. I've come to realize that this is a spiritual battle. Oh, and I have the conviction that the moment I see your Pastor John, God will intervene. Wait, is it Pastor John you're calling my pastor? 
It's the same Pastor John you've always talked about. My dear, that was then. Not now. That was then, until I realized that the man is a, is, is a ritualist. What? Yes. But I thank God that my head is too strong for him. Jesus. If not, I would have been dead by now. Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Don't worry, my dear. I will take you to a pastor. Pastor Mike. And Pastor Mike will take that your problem and throw it into the sea. Okay? And it will not be a problem any longer. Amen. Amen. You better say better amen. Amen. And I'm sure to the fact that your prayer is... and urgent need. What is it, my Lord? An urgent atonement is needed. Another atonement? In less than two years, I have given you my beloved wife and two most active members of the church. They call us Paulina and Elder Ignatius. My Lord, Dare you question my others for your own good? The souls of Lala, Samuel, Lala, and Moses is required, and you must exterminate them before the next full moon. It's an order. Hello, Eboka. How are you? Fine. How is Mama? Mama is fine. Okay. Um, I actually called to tell you that um, you have nothing to worry about, okay? I've gone to see a pastor who has assured me concerning your education. And he promised, in fact, he has assured me that in the next batch, your name will be there. The list came out today. And your name? My name is not on the list. Are you sure? Don't I know my name again? Um, you know what? I'll call you back, okay? I'll call you later. What is happening? I have to go. Yes? Come in. Ah, Pastor Timothy, my pastor, how are you? Wonderful. The pastor, anointed, chosen, ordained. Please sit down. Thank you, my pastor. I can see you are having a good time. Well, 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 we're just relaxing. Praise God. <laughs> this is interesting. Everything here is looking beautiful. See, this is what I was telling you. When I was telling you to detach yourself from that man, you told I don't know what I was saying. I never knew. I told you. The Bible is true. The Bible says when God turned again, the captivity of Israel. No, I think we put it. When God turned again, our captivity. <laughs> <laughs> we were like they that dream dream. Yes. Can you see? The cars, the houses, the money in the account. Do you know the last service alone? The beauty of it was 2.5 million. Oh. 
The special offer. Special offer. 8.5 million. What? Not to talk about the welfare and other donations. Fat with me here now. It's 2.5 million. Thanks given off. I think this call for celebration. This really calls for celebration. Praise God. I told you. Pastor Timothy. Yes. This is unbelievable. I need blood. How dare. How dare you disobey me? know your job in this hospital. I'm sorry, sir. But are you here to pray or to work? Doctor, is it not just prayers? 
Chief, this is a most serious case, you know? Now, you can go ahead with your prayers. Do whatever you want to do, but as soon as you're done with it, see me right in my office. Is that clear? If only you believe. I believe. You will I see believe. the glory of God. I believe. I believe. Father, I thank you because you always hear me. You say in your words that when I lay hand on the sick, they shall be healed. It is written that you have given unto me power above every other kingdom. You have lifted me high above every nation to cast down and pull down and destroy the works of the enemies. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let divine healings of God come upon this child in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatsoever it is that is wrong with this body, I command normal to come upon this body in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. She has opened her eyes. Sandra! Sandra! <laughs> Glory to God. Oh. Doctor! Jesus. Doctor! Doctor! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. My yes. last hope. Come in alive! Come in alive! Thank you, Lord. Be glorified. Be glorified, Lord. She's alive! Doctor! To go. This is a miracle. How did it happen? I'll see you later. <laughs> Where is the cleaner? I don't know. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. God 
in that situation. I want you to know that you are not alone. Look back and you will see that the Lord is there with you. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Shepherd, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to that problem. They refused to bow down to that situation. They said we were prepared to die in the cause of the gospel. And God did not disappoint them. I tell you, they will not disappoint you. They tried that hot fire into air condition. He turned that terrible situation into the, a very comfortable post condition for them. I tell you, that condition, they will turn it, make it comfortable for you in Jesus' name. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like dead that dreams. I want to tell you, that your problem shall be over in Jesus' name. It will look as if you are free in the name of Jesus. in a strange land and he occupies very important position. If he can do it for Joseph a slave in a strange land and he moved him from a very terrible situation to becoming the number two in a nation as great as Egypt. I want to tell you, I don't know what condition you are in. I may not know the situation you are passing through. I may not know whether you are a stranger in this land or not. But I want to tell you that today, God will elevate you in Jesus. Pastors. How many pastors do you have? He has gone mad. <laughs> Where did you see me? <laughs> Mentally disorder. <laughs> Mentally disorder. Look here, you are not my friend. I chose my friend and definitely you are not one of them. See, don't you ever come near me again. You and I are useless Pastor Mike. My dear, it's not only useless, it's a beast. He's no longer my pastor. Oh, now the almighty Pastor Mike is no longer your pastor, huh? Yes, he is no longer my pastor. I can see you have a problem. Agnes, why won't I have a problem? No, tell me, why won't I have a problem? When the more you look, the less you see. Even the little you see, it's confusing. I learned that Pastor Mike is mad. <laughs> it will not only go mad though, but fire will consume his entire generation for defiling me. Defiling you? Hmm. The idiot did. After telling me that the only solution to my problem is for an anointed man of God to, to make love to me. And you gave him? Why won't I? Why won't I? I couldn't resist him. In fact, I, I don't just know how, how, he, how he hypnotized me. Agnes, please, my dear. I'm sorry. I did not know you got 
to that extent, please. I'm very, very sorry. Not even no, because ever since I started having this series of nightmares, and for my brother, nothing happened. Hmm. I learned that Pastor John is now back and better. See. Obviously, I would have gone to ask for his forgiveness, but I don't know how to do it. I'm so ashamed of myself. You see, I would advise you to go back to him and apologize. If you don't want to see the wrath of God. Honestly, I want to do that, but I don't, I don't know. I'm so ashamed to do that. You better do it. Pardon? Ah, Peter! Peter, where is he? Hey, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I've said. Um, no, 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 In fact, I'm so happy to see you around. Please stand up, please, 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 please. Oh my God. Sister Uji, is this you? It's you. Good afternoon. My friend, Agnes. She has been longing to see you. Ah. Sister Uji, I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Eh? Is this you? You don't have to take me. <laughs> going around and round. Still realizes that he had to come back to his father. He was forgiven, he was celebrated. I forgive you. Your case is not the worst. Okay? You are forgiven. You are forgiven. Father, I thank you for your daughter that is fine. Be glorified in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ah. There is a young man sitting under the tree crying for something that rightfully belongs to him. Mm. Ah. And this thing has been denied of it several times. There is a strong man in your family trading with this young man's destiny. But don't worry. God will deal with him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you. We bless you. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, I release arrow from heaven into the life of this strong man. Amen. That thing that is not his that is holding on to. I command him to lose his hold in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. I command that scholarship. That this young man has been denied of several times. Let it get to him this month in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, that scholarship to go and study the course of your choice. I command that scholarship to get to you this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 You don't have a problem. Amen. 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 I believe this is related to your mind. Yes. yes, Pastor. It is over. Amen. You don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. This is our duty. Uh -huh. uh, you say you are from um, Obama? Yes, sir. Uh, well, that doesn't matter anyway. It's not important. What is important is if you accept the task that I'm giving to you. Mr. Ken has been transferred, and I want somebody as honest as he was to handle everything concerning the scholarship scheme. Hmm? I am going to tell the principal to hand all the documents related to the scheme to you. Would you want to do that? <coughs> Thank you so much. <coughs> I'll take the task, sir. Uh, it's a great honor for me to work with this community. But more importantly, if I may just borrow your words, sir, I don't see this as a task. And I see it as a great opportunity to serve this community. Yeah. And I will pursue it this in view. Yeah, yeah, Thank you yeah. so much.
Bye, bye, bye. Ah, ah. <laughs> Chief, <laughs> man. This is a big surprise. Yes, yes. yes. I just came, I, I just said, let me come and say, welcome to our place. And then to congratulate you for being the next chairman of the examination board. I yes, deeply yes. appreciate this. Yes, 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 yes. Wow, yes, this yes. is very good. Yeah, it's a local wine. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so uh, much. Uh, what, what, what is this, Chief? Do people ask for what is inside an envelope before they take it? Oh! <laughs> Chief, no, don't, don't, don't bother about this. This can be a distraction. I'm here to work. I'm here to do serious business. Serious work. This will be a major distraction. Let's not come to this level. Meanwhile, Chief, there's something I should do. Let me get your cola. <laughs> Igwe. The matter is utterly inexplicable. I look through the results. This particular boy comes stops twice, yet his name was not so shortlisted. I've checked this thing over and over again. I'm not trying to blackmail the examiners, and my conscience just cannot bear it. That's so. Yes, indeed. And you said this boy's name is. Um, Mwene, Mwene Ebuka, Mwene. Ebuka Mwene. And you say he got. The best out of the loan. Yes, sir. And yet he was not sure. He was not. Okay. I will investigate and uh, find out what happened. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Did you know that? that was the height of betrayal. To think that you of all people could do a thing like that. Anyway. I call you in here to let you know what the cabinet has decided on this matter. You have been dethroned as the prime minister of this community. Hello? Is there anybody home? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, please, I'm looking for the people here. Who exactly do you want to see? Um, Missy, the mother of Janet. Um, sorry. She passed on six months ago. What? Uh, so what happened? How, how did it happen? Just a slight sickness. Ah! What about her daughter? Which one of them, sir? Janet, the one staying with her. Janet left here about three months ago after her mother's death. Three months, you said? Yes, about three months ago, sir. Welcome to my house. Ah, I'm going to surprise. I'm 
believe this war you come to my house, you change your mind about what I told you. You know, I told you other pastors do it. If you try it, to help you. When I think about it right now, it makes me laugh. Oh. Back then it wasn't funny what my life was like. Oh. So Jesus picked me. Where the broken heart go, where they don't have. If you look into the book of Job chapter 14 verse 14, you will realize with me that we are better to wait till our change comes. The Bible says that if a man dies, will he live again? All the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. 
If you die as a result of you thinking that this problem is weightier than God, if you die as a result of, if, if you allow yourself to fall into temptation because of impatience, because of disbelief, will you live again if you die in the process? No. We are expected to wait. We are expected as Christians to rely on God. We are expected to, to lean on Him. We are expected to look up to the cross of Calvary and see the man who passed through more than what we think you are passing through today and still survived it and today is at the right hand of the Father. Praise the Lord. For a Christian to be faced with trials and temptations, I think it is part of the Christian race. A Christian without temptation, without being faced by trials of life, that Christian is not yet a Christian. Persecution, hard times, difficult times, they are bound to come and we are expected to stand on the truth. We are expected to speak the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is the word of God. The truth is the voice of God. The truth is what is God saying in this my situation. The truth that we are ready to speak is what is the mind of God over this thing that I'm passing through. If you're able to know what the mind of God is, then you'll be able to stand on nothing but the truth. But failure to make inquiry to know the mind of God over the situation that you are being surrendered with, you are bound to lie. You are bound to step out of the truth. You are bound to, to speak in favor of the devil. And you know, as a Christian, the devil must come. The Bible says he is like a rolling lion. He is like, he is not a, he is not a lion, he is just like the lion. Christ Jesus is the true lion of the tribe of Judah. And then if we're able to stand on the fact that Jesus Christ our Savior is the only lion that can roar and everywhere we pray, then we'll be able to know that we have no reason to fear the devil. Trials and temptations are part of the portfolio of being a Christian. You are a servant of God and you are passing through your wilderness time. It is a time that God is watching you. At that time, the angels are surrounding you with their marker and their, and their jotan. Whatever you say at that material time, they are jotting it and at the end of the day, they are going to submit it to God the Father. And when these things are submitted to God Almighty, you will either face His joy as a reward or you will face the wrath of God as a reward. Because in times of trials and temptation as believers, as a servant of God, you are expected to speak truth. We are expected to speak through. Job faced very horrible situation, but at the end of the day, he spoke to the people that came to make him to tell lies. He said, I will speak the truth. And the truth that, he, that Job spoke was, I know my Redeemer liveth. Job said, I will wait until my change comes. And I thank God that you and I realize that the situation of Job became far better than the former. There is nothing you are passing through as a child of God, as a servant of God, that is taking God unaware. God is aware of everything that we are passing through. All we are expected to do is to speak the truth. All we are expected to do, all the Lord is expecting from you and I, is to lean on the word of God. All the Lord is expected from us is to rely on the true word, the voice of Calvary that has nothing other than truth. Stand on the word of God. I know my Redeemer liveth. You see this situation, Christ spoke to the stormy sea. No matter how stormy it is, peace be still and peace will be still. No, sometimes you quote the Bible, you pray, it looks as if there is no answer. God is passing you through a, a phase. God is passing you through a period to, to pass you through a period of maturity. He knows what he's doing. He is not sleeping. He has never slept. He can never doze. We are expected to rely on him. Christ was in the Tommy Sea with the disciples and they were screaming, but he never screamed. In fact, they saw him and they were like, carry us down now that we perish. He was there, he saw everything. The same thing is still happening. In that stormy sea, in that stormy situation, Jesus Christ is watching you. The angels are watching you. What we need and all that we need is to speak the true word of God. Look for the scripture that suits the situation that you are passing through. Scripture, and I tell you, that truth, that is the word of God, is the only thing that will set you free. Because it is written that if, if, if Christ sets a man free, that man will be free indeed. So no matter the situation, if Christ comes and steps into that situation and declares that you are free, there is no power that can stop you. Praise the Lord. Where to go? You beat me from the gutter and rearranged me. You're the only one 
that is taking care of me In my imperfection You still love me It's burning in my heart It's burning in my soul As I lift my hand Homeless ones go. I see them begging on the road. People give them a little coin that cannot even buy the food. But you're the only one that is taking care of us in our desperation. This is why I will always praise your name. And this is why I will always give you thanks. Yes, Lord.